The pause on federal student loans has ended. After three years, interest is now accruing on loans and borrowers will have to begin making payments again in October. It's a move that is causing financial stress for some people. Local 5's Larissa Millas has a story of some educators in our region who are working to make sure students know everything they need to to be financially successful after graduating. For many high school students, figuring out what they want to do after high school involves figuring out how they're going to pay for that. That's why some teachers and counselors here at Lincoln High School are working to help students figure those plans out. With my college going students, I tell everybody I'm never going to pressure you to go to college, but if that's the pathway that you want to take, I never want the reason to, that you aren't going to be financial. Julia Minahan's greatest wish is to see her students succeed, whether that means going to college, trade school, the workforce, or other post high school options. I think what happens is because there is such a pressure to go to college for everybody in order to make money and be successful that students are going to college when it's not necessarily what they want to do. Minahan says that pressure can often lead students to make choices that might later impact their finances, like taking out thousands of dollars in student loans. That's why she and fellow Lincoln High staff member Bridget Bowser work hard to make sure their students, many of whom are first generation students, make the right choice for them. Money is a big issue for these kids and they need to know that there's a certain comfort level that going in they're also going to come out knowing that they can take care of themselves when they're done. Bowser teaches college and career readiness where she answers students questions like how much they'll have to borrow if they need to borrow student loans, how to pay those loans back, when to pay them back, and what an interest rate is. Having that information in their back pocket makes them feel a lot more comfortable embarking on a journey that nobody in their family has done before. And so they're kind of relying on us to give them that information. That guidance makes a huge difference to students. They're not just your students until they graduate. They're your students until they stop talking to you 10, 20 years down the line. So yeah, we get a lot of feedback from kids who just want to thank us for helping them make choices that are good for them. Both Minahan and Bowser say that it's important students understand that college is not the only way to be successful after high school. In Des Moines, Larissa Millis, Local 5 News. Minahan and Bowser say Lincoln High School really emphasizes scholarships to students. They say the school even has specific ones that are only offered to its students. That way they don't have to compete with other students across the state or nation for scholarship money. This is such an important conversation to have. I wish yes. I had this conversation when I was in high school. That's You're... all I could think about oh. when I was listening to this story. Yeah, I, I went to college and I do not ever remember when I was in high school, anybody giving me another no. option or showing me no. another path. It was college, college, yep. college, that's what you do, and you do whatever it takes to pay for it. Yeah, and also, your mom was first generation she was, for her yeah. mm -hmm. graduation, and then I was first generation in my family. I do know, too, don't undervalue trade schools, because I went to cosmetology school yeah. before I went to college, and my brother's a mechanic, so there's skills of all trades absolutely point being and education so in all do. its forms you just got to be financially smart about it exactly so do what is certainly best for yeah. you